Rangers news. Let's get stuck into it. Pity a dead week. We've got talk of players re-signing, players coming in, potentially getting old firm away allocations back. Uh, personally, I would like to see that. Um, but again, it's not up for me. If it was, it was up to me, all these decisions, life would be great. But it's no. I'm just a YouTuber. Let's pish. But anyway, I digress. Let's dive in with Billy Gilmore on the thumbnail. How many times are we going to get linked to King Billy? I don't know. But let's dive into these articles. Uh, there is no doubt the Rangers will be looking to recruit at least one striker in the summer. If Ross Wilson is doing his job right, then we should be seeing two. Even if Morelos, Morelos, uh, uh, Morelos, Morelos, even if Morelos puts pen to paper on what should be a surprise turning offence. So like Beal, after the Rafe Rovers game, came out and buried him. Then in his press conference today, he says that uh, Morelos done a really good job since he came in, that he basically... S his goals to game, he's like averaging like a goal every like game or, or two games, whatever he said. So my point is, he buried Morelos and now he's praising him. What is it? Like, let's be real, right? See, since Beals came in, Morelos has been undoubtedly the best striker. Now, I get it. Kolak at the start was injured when Beal first came in. But Kolak, I thought he was shite against Rafe. Really, really good against Hibs. I'm not going to deny that, but... People are fucking delusional. I, I honestly, I, I, don't, I don't understand why some people bum like others and then don't bum like other people. Because, like, see, for the start of this season, Choak was our guy. He was banging in the goals. Morelos was not really fit and doing really hee-haw, for being honest, right? But see, when Choak got injured, Morelos stepped up. He started banging in goals. So why, why can't Morelos get any credit, right? And see all these people that, oh, because he's not re-signing his contract. Uh, because they're not fucking offering them one. You can't slap a player for not getting a contract when they're not fucking offering them one. I don't get people, man. I don't get it. Morelos is being wrongfully slabbered about, and I'm not a fan of it, all right? Big Morelos. I love Morelos. Anyway, Peter Ratkov I've already talked about him. If you want me, you want know, if you want to hear me talk pish about Peter Ratkov, go check it out. Um, but there could be another player, Nikola Kristagovic. Nikola Kristagovic. Would a recent contract extension does little to affect whether or not his club would have to find bids for him, seeing he's only a couple of years left on his old deal. Boom, boom, boom. As we dive into more, the reemergence of Josh Madge's name. He was a one-time option to replace Morelos. There's another interesting link in football insiders claimed that he is at the top of a list of a few strikers that Rangers are said to be targeting. I mean, we want strikers, apparently. It looks like Rangers have a genuine interest in Bordeaux striker Josh Maggia, who's out of contract at the end of the season. The 24-year-old remains on the Glasgow club's radar and is a top target as they prefer to bring in multiple new signings in the summer. Maggia, with 46 career goals on a free Makes a lot of sense. He did well in England. And before he went on to France, he discovered f form and fitness. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, but yeah, right. So that, that's enough for that article. I, I would I would mind that guy. I mean, personally. But yeah, looks like Ryan Jack is going to stay at Rangers. Also, it looks like your big man, Scotty 2 Arfield Day. Member of Too Cool. If you know, you know. He looks like he'll be uh, rejoined. But the thing I wanted to talk about today was the fact about Scott Mick. Tomine linked with a massive move to Rangers today. Seen it all over Twitter. Um, is it? Is it, it says Newcastle. Yeah. So West Ham, Newcastle, and us. I seen linked with him, right? And I'm not gonna lie, right? I've been very critical of McTominay. I think the guy is shite when he is playing centre back as a CDM. I don't see why teams haven't attempted to play him like in a more offensive position. Because like, there's one thing he will do, right? He will run around the pitch. Now, would he be an absolutely awful signing for Rangers? Probably, because you'd have to spend really good money for him and his wages, but if he was to, like it says here, he's on 60 grand a week. How the fuck he's going to Rangers, I would never know with that. But the Rangers need him? No. Personally, no. But it doesn't mean he's absolutely horrendous. I think he just gets played in very shit positions. Like, he gets put in at centre-back for Scotland sometimes. You can just see he sticks it like a sore thumb. CDM for United, him and McFred was like the worst partnership you will ever get. I feel like McTominay is at his best in more offensive positions, but for some reason, no matter where he's been or where he's played, he's always a defensive uh, player, even though it doesn't suit him. But again, that's just my opinion. So would I take Scott McTominay? No. But if we signed him, would it be the end of the world? No. There's definitely worse players to sign than Scott McTominay. 
Aaron Ramsey. But anyway, until next time, folks, of course, Aaron Ramsey's better than Scott McTominay. It just didn't work out for us. And that's the bottom line. But anyway, troops, that is it. Um, or Arsenal financially healthy. Where the fuck's that video loaded from? I don't know. Anyway, let's get that off tape. Fuck. But until next time, Scott McTominay, Josh Maggia. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? I care. You care. Till next time. Peace.